clinical picture of uh, varicocele. First of all, uh, symptoms. Varicocele may be symptomless and discovered incidentally. Um, if it gives a symptom uh, congestion of the testis, the testis if congested leading to a stretch of the fibrous covering of the testis leading to dull aching pain or due to congestion of the testis the testis become heavy leading to dragging pain on the spermatic cord and the condition increased by prolonged standing or in hot weather because in prolonged standing and hot weather this lead to more and more congestion of uh, the tests. The patient may present by manifestation of complication as hypofertility. Examination. Examination first of all abdominal examination to exclude any abdominal swelling like retroperitoneal sarcoma or renal cell carcinoma which cause secondary varicocele. Local examination to the inguinous scrotal region. First of all, once you look to this patient, the testis and the scrotum is redundant and the testis lies at a lower level compare the two testes normally the left testis is lower than the right but uh, this left testis is marked marked at lower level than normal in comparison to the right side and the skin of the scrotum by inspection this is a severe case of varicocele through the skin of the scrotum there are dilated veins the spermatic cord the spermatic cord which lie above the testis this is the testis and above the spermatic cord there is fullness in the neck of the scrotum and if you palpate the neck of the scrotum like that the spermatic cord is thickened by dilated elongated tortuous soft compressible tubule because the varicocele lies inside the spermatic cord therefore the spermatic cord is thickened by dilated elongated tortuous soft compressible tubule um, these dilated elongated tortuous soft compressible tubule described as like a bag of forms ask the patient <coughs> to cough we all know that cough increase intra down pressure leading to reversal of blood flow and the reflux of blood from above downward into the bambini form plexus therefore during the palpation if the patient cough the swelling show impulse and they may be thrill on cuff. Ask the patient to bow forward like that during bowing. During bowing this increase the venous return from the spermatic from the testicular vein into the left renal vein or the inferior vena cava and therefore during bowing Increase venous return from bambini from plexus leading to the varicocele become less prominent and they may be empty. Um, if the patient lie flat and elevate the scrotum and the testis, the varicocele disappear. Why? The veins become completely empty. Um, This is important feature to differentiate primary from secondary varicocele. 
if the patient lies flat, elevate the testis and the scrotum, and the paroxysm doesn't empty. This means obstruction of testicular vein, and we all know that obstruction of testicular veins they mean secondary varicocele and obstruction of testicular vein by renal cell carcinoma or retroperitoneal sarcoma. In advanced severe long standing cases, the testis, the testis may become a small, soft atrophic. And sure, if you pinch the skin over the testis, you will discover secondary hydrocele. Um, this is a clinical picture of primary varicocele. And uh, in primary varicocele, it is usually on the left side. If a patient comes to you with varicocele on the right side, in primary varicocele, elevate the scrotum during lying flat, varicocele empty. And during bowing forward, varicocele become less prominent and disappear. But if you elevate the scrotum and the bowing has no effect, and the varicocele is distended, this suggests secondary varicocele. Therefore, a typical changes in the typical features of primary varicocele means secondary varicocele, like varicocele on the right side, no effect of bowing, no effect of lying flat and elevate the scrotum, and age above 40, which is the commonest age for renal cell carcinoma or retroperitoneal sarcoma. We said that primary varicocele usually occur in adolescence. Um, what is the investigations needed for case of varicocele? Sure, duplex ultrasound will show the dilated veins and the reflux of blood, reversal of blood flow in the testicular vein from above down. Sure, the main complaint of most patient infertility. Therefore, semen analysis for oligospermia and the low vitality of the sperms and abdominal ultrasound if you suspect the secondary varicocele to exclude any abdominal swelling or any cause obstruct the testicular veins. What is the treatment of varicocele? We said before that many cases of varicocele are symptomless. Therefore, for symptomless uncomplicated cases, Conservative treatment is enough. What's conserved treatment? Avoid the predisposing factor. Avoid the predisposing factor like unsatisfied sexual desire, regulate sexual life, and cold baths on the testis and the scrotum to decongest the veins in the bambini form of plexus. Surgical treatment. Surgical treatment indicated for the reverse of conservative. Large, complicated, painful varicocele, especially if the complication reaches to infertility. What is the idea of surgical treatment? Prevent reflux of blood from above downward to the bambini, from the secular vein to the bambini form plexus. How uh, to prevent this reflux? Through one of the following approaches. First of all, occlude the secular vein in the retroperitoneal space. This is called retroperitoneal approach. Retroperitoneal, once the secular vein comes from the internal inguinal ring, and you all know this picture. This is uh, posterior view to the anterior abdominal wall. Therefore, is, you see here the internal inguinal ring. And this is the vast difference, enter the internal inguinal ring. 
and this is the inferior digastric vessels and this is the testicular artery and the vein exposure of testicular vein in the retroperitoneal space here and exposure usually nowadays by laparoscope laparoscopic surgery is the standard nowadays to occlude and to ligate the testicular vein in the retroperitoneal tissue rarely nowadays open surgery open surgery here is called ballumus operation incision just above just above the internal inguana ring open the anterior abdominal here just above and the lateral to the internal inguinal ring to expose the testicular vein and ligate the testicular vein um, all of you uh, when I uh, said surgical treatment and ligate testicular vein or ligate bambino form of plexus venous drainage of the testis the idea of all surgical uh, treatment is ligation and occlusion of testicular vein and the bambini form of plexus leading to thrombosis and fibrosis and the obliteration of varicose and venous drainage of testis and the epididymis now is shifted to the veins around the vas the vas is surrounded by veins which has good anastomosis with the bambini form of plexus and they can drain the testis and the epididymis without any complication. The first approach is retroperitoneal approach, especially laparoscopic through a laparoscope. Inguinal approach, inguinal incision, like that of inguinal hernia, to expose four to eight veins in the inguinal canal. The membrane form plexus collects in the inguinal canal into four to eight veins. Ligation and division of the membrane form plexus inside the inguinal canal leading to thrombosis, fibrosis, etc. Or um, recent inguinal approach is done by microsurgical technique. Why? to detect very well testicular artery and the vas to avoid their injury therefore microsurgical technique through an inguinal approach we will see by microsurgical technique the veins very well ligation only of the veins and preserving testicular artery and the vas Finally, there is a scrotal approach or incision in the neck of the scrotum below the inguinal canal. Therefore, it's called sub-inguinal approach. A scrotal approach or sub-inguinal approach through incision in the neck of the scrotum, ligation and division of the bambini form plexus. Um, nowadays, the popularity for surgery is decreasing <coughs> and since uh, nowadays there is marked progress of interventional radiology nowadays the best treatment for varicocele is percutaneous embolization by interventional radiology what is this um, by uh, interventional radiologist um, a castor is inserted into the femoral or jugular vein to the inferior vena cava to the left renal vein to the testicular vein and in the testicular vein insert a detachable balloon or coils of wire to obstruct the testicular vein 
This nowadays is the most popular technique for treatment of varicocele. Bare cutaneous embolization of testicular vein by coils of wire or detachable balloon. Um, as any varicose, varicose vein, um, in varicose vein of lower limb, there is sclerocerum. In uh, bile or hemorrhoids, there is sclerocerum injection treatment of bites. And nowadays, it is increasing popular sclerocerum before varicose. What is the, the technique? A scrotal incision expose and cannulate the veins in the malveniform plexus and inject a sclerosing material called ethoxysclerol. This is called anti-grade sclerotherapy. Sclerotherapy is easy. What is anti-grade? In the direction of blood flow, we inject the sclerotherapy from below upward. In the direction of blood flow, therefore, it's called anti-grade scrotal, scrotal sclerotherapy. Through scrotal incision in the neck of the scrotum, exposure of the veins, can you lead the vein inject the sclerotherapy? Um, this is a treatment of varicocele, conserved treatment for symptomless uncomplicated cases. Large complicated cases need nowadays embolization or surgical treatment or sclerotherapy. Thank you for good listening and good luck.